so today I'm going to be showing you how I do an at-home facial slash spa treatment. Um, I really like doing this because it helps open up my pores and cleans out my face. I like to use just natural products straight from the kitchen. So basically I'm going to be creating a turmeric face mask. This is what turmeric is. Um, it is like a root that is considered a miracle product. Um, I've been reading a lot about it. It's supposed to kind of cure everything. It has antibacterial properties, so it's really good for acne in terms of killing bacteria. The spice, and it's been one of those kind of ancient spices that people have been using for a long time. So some of the really cool benefits of turmeric is it's used as a natural antiseptic and antibacterial agent, so people used to use it in terms of disinfecting cuts and burns. Um, it has prevented breast cancer from spreading to lungs in mice. It prevents melanoma, which kind of helps fight off skin cancers. It detoxifies a little liver. Um, it has shown to prevent or help slow down the process of aging. It is an anti-inflammatory that works just as well as many anti-inflammatory drugs, but without the side effects. Beads up wound healing and assists in remodeling of damaged skin. So there are so many benefits of turmeric. You can either put it on your skin or you can kind of ingest it. Um, it's not very good when you eat it because I've tried it is actually really bitter. But if you add some milk to it or you use it in kind of Indian dishes such as like curry and stuff, um, it actually helps fight um, the kind of infection from the inside of your body. I'm going to be mixing it with honey and some yogurt to create a paste. Then I'm going to have some green tea. Um, I like to use green tea bags for putting over my eyes to depuff them. The caffeine in green tea really helps um, depuff the eyes and constricts the blood vessels into your eyes. Steaming the face, I like to just put some hot water in a pot and drop some essential oils. So I have these essential oils. Um, put some like peppermint or different kind of essential oils just to open up and give some scent and um, kind of tingle the face. So yeah, let's get started. So you can drink turmeric. I'm just gonna heat up some almond milk or any kind of milk. Yeah, it tastes really bad. <laughs> like very bitter chalk, so um, you add some honey to the drink, it might make it a little bit more. Mm, much better. So yeah, you can drink a cup of turmeric milk <laughs> every day or every other day to kind of fight off those infections in your body. But first, let's start off with the facial. First, going to boil some water because the steam from the water will kind of open the pores. Just put it over the stove. Or you can take some hot water and put it in a bowl. Um, I just like to do it this way because it's a little bit more effective. The steam is a little bit hotter. To wash your face, um, I'm going to be using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And you just want to make sure you get all the makeup off your skin. Going to make the mask. I have the turmeric powder here, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of yogurt and some honey. And the I'll put all kind of how much of everything you should have below. Okay, and then you're going to just mix it up so it becomes a paste. The mask is used in India before brides get married. It's called an Indian bridal mask and it helps produce a very nice glowing complexion on the skin. So you want to get it to a paste like this. And now we're just going to wait um, and put it on later. So I am going to steam my face over some hot water with peppermint oil. And the reason why I'm doing this is the hot water opens up the pores and peppermint oil is a natural disinfectant and also kind of stimulates the blood flowing in your body. So again, you can also do this by pouring some boiling water over a, like a, a dish bowl and putting a towel over your face. You can also add mint leaves or lemon juice or kind of lemon slices in here to create more of a citrusy, energizing effect. After you've steamed your face, before you put on your mask, I just like to take um, tea bags and put it in a little bit of hot water just to get it kind of oozing out. Um, I like to use green tea versus black tea because black tea sometimes stains your, your skin. Okay. So you can just kind of apply it on the skin. Make 
sure to put it on my jaw and kind of in the middle of my neck because I get a lot of cystic or breakouts there. So I have kind of squished the water out of the tea bags and I'm going to just put them over my eyes and meditate for 15 minutes until the mask dries. You're the getaway car, you're the line and sin when I go too far. You're the swimming pool on an August day and you're the perfect thing to say. And you play coy, but it's kind of cute. Oh, when you smile at me, you know exactly what you do. Baby, don't pretend that you don't know. So, now the face mask is dry. I can barely move my face, and I'm just going to wash it off. So, I'm just wipe that off. I am going to use some rose petal witch hazel and some cotton squares. We really like this witch hazel. It's a toner. It doesn't have alcohol. It has witch hazel. Um, and so just to clean out the pores and tighten the face. If the turmeric stains your face yellow, try to use a gentle cleanser to kind of get off any of the yellowness. It should come off though within the day. Okay, and there you go. That is my turmeric face mask and at home facial treatment. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for my website, yourperfectbeauty.com. And in the comments below, write down what your favorite at-home treatments are and if you've tried this and if it's made any result in your skin. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye!